Welcome to episode 228, John Paul DeGioria, From Homeless to Multi-Billionaire. This is an outline of episode 228. There are four reasons why we study John Paul DeGioria. First, he was born, abandoned by his dad, and raised by a single mom. Second, he was homeless twice and was once a gangster. Third, he's a serial entrepreneur, making his first fortune in hair salons and his second time in tequila. Fourth, he began his journey to multi-billionaire with an initial investment of $700. Let us meet John Paul de Gioria, always dressed in black with his trademark ponytail. His wife's a former Playboy Playmate. John Paul de Gioria is a first-generation American, born in Los Angeles, California on April 13, 1944. He is the son of immigrant parents from Italy and Greece and is the youngest of two siblings. His mother raised him as a single parent before he reached the age of two. Early in life, John Paul had to help support his family. At age nine, he sold greeting cards and delivered newspapers with his brother. John Paul de Gioria, from gangster to Navy. How is this possible? Following some rough teen years, he strived for positive change. While still in high school, John Paul enrolled in the United States Naval Reserve. Marshall High School in 1962, he joined the Navy with the goal of seeing more of the world, where he served two Pacific tours before receiving an honorable discharge in 1964. John Paul did not have the means financially to attend college, so he did whatever it took to make ends meet. Eventually, he landed an entry-level marketing position with Time Magazine, and within a short time, he was promoted to Los Angeles Circulation Manager. Now, first time homeless, with a two and a half year old son after his first wife left him and depleted the bank account. Uh, homeless the first time, it was in my early 20s, uh, my wife just couldn't handle being a mother anymore, so left a two-and-a-half-year-old in my arms and wiped out all the money we had and never paid the rent for three months. So we were actually evicted within three days of the time that happened. Is I went around to vacant lots and picked up, you know, Coke bottles, 7-Up bottles. And uh, in those days, you got two cents for a little one, five cents for a big one. Yeah. So I'd go there, and they'd have to give you the money, and that's kind of how we survived. Uh, then a couple, uh, you know, several days later, a dear friend of mine who was a... Uh, which you would call a uh, heavy-duty biker <laughs> with a gang, uh, found me. He just found me, old buddy of mine from high school, and said, Johnny, come on in. Your son uh, could come live with me here, and we've got a couple really cool biker mamas here that'll help watch him uh, while you get yourself reorganized. So that was a nice break, too. Uh, well, so, I mean, so how did you learn? How did you learn how to be a successful entrepreneur? Well, and then he entered the hair care industry, was fired three times, eventually starting John Mitchell with $700. DeGioia landed a series of jobs in the hair care industry and quickly rose to management, but he never quite fit into their corporate culture. At one point, you were fired from three different jobs in the hair industry. There are no coincidences. It was meant to be for me to be fired to learn these various things that I really needed to start the company. He teamed up with a hairdresser named Paul Mitchell, whom he met at a trade show. As their core values, the company actively supports the cultivation of sustainable resources, the banning of product testing on animals, and combating product tampering. Then in 1980, with a loan of just $700, they launched a hair care product company they named John Paul Mitchell Systems. And together, they came up with a new high-quality shampoo and conditioner. You and Paul Mitchell raised 300 and some odd dollars each. $350, he was on his last money too, and we decided we're gonna start the company. What was so great about your shampoo? Our shampoo, you only have to use once instead of twice. So for a hairdresser, it saves time and money. The Joya began knocking on doors again. This time, persuading salons to sell his own innovative product. So with $700, you made millions. Yeah, many millions, yes. They teamed up to pursue a joint vision to create ecologically and ethically responsible products for hairdressers. Second time homeless. He needed half a million dollars from an investor in England to launch John Mitchell Hair Care Products. 
the English investor pull out. I knew I needed half a million dollars to start John Paul Mitchell Systems. Had to have that. The backer pulled out. No money. Well, it was later that afternoon that a friend of mine found me and said, John Paul, please call Dick Holthouse, direct collect in England. He doesn't have the best news for you. So I got a hold of him. For him, it was the wee hours of the morning. And he said, JP, the backer pulled out. The reason he pulled out was inflation in the United States was 12.5%, unemployment 10%, actually over 10%. Interest rates, if you could get a loan, prime rate was 17% interest. And so we had the backer lined up. I had a good job at the time, lived in a nice house. And I left everything I had because half a million dollars was coming in down the street. I was going to start a company. So I left it all behind. I left what money I had with my wife. We weren't getting along well at all. John Mitchell, born in Scotland and once dreamt of becoming an actor, died at the age of 53 after losing his battle with pancreatic cancer. The year was 1989. John Paul DeGioria was 45. And spend as much time as they can with their youngest child. John Paul's journey from struggle to success. John Paul de Joria would make his second fortune in tequila. 1989, the same year that John Mitchell died, de Joria co-founded the Patron Spirit Company. to mulch, to nurture, grow in a dart, they test the agave's sugar content. Only the finest will move on to become Patron Tequila. This is the heart, not only of the plant, but of what we do. When we started Patron, we wanted to make sure that America had the tequila tequila, which means that you drink tequila, but you could taste the agave in it, but yet it's mellow as can be opposed to traditional tequilas where you mixed it or you held your breath and then the next day you have one hell of a hangover. What have I learned today? First, it is possible to go from homeless twice to becoming multi-billionaire. Second, he did it with just a high school education. Third, John Paul de Joria is the only one in my database of more than 3,070 billionaires who came from gangster and homeless background. My head off to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be John Paul de Joria, From Homeless to Multi-Billionaire, 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.